Malnutrition affects all countries and one in three people. 800 million people are undernourished and 2 billion are affected by micronutrient deficiencies. These deficiencies actually called in other terms hidden hunger rob people, children, individuals of their mental acuity of their potential and today we're also facing another problem of overweight and obesity, which costs a lot in terms of human health and in terms of productivity and in terms of medical bills. FAO has taken a very bold stance to say, we need to look at nutrition beyond the medical or the medicalization of nutrition. We need to bring back agriculture and food systems to the core of how we should be addressing nutrition. Nutrition should be mainstreamed across all sectoral policies. Agriculture being at the helm of it, but bearing in mind that nutrition as a multi-sectoral, interdisciplinary issue needs to be infused, inculcated, integrated into other policies. So the Minister of Trade has to be concerned about the diversity, concerned about if people can afford. The Minister of Health has to be concerned about why and what people are eating. The Minister of Education has to be concerned because education is important. School feeding, school nutrition. We should be able by 2030 to have reduced hunger significantly, reduced malnutrition significantly, improved our agriculture and food systems to support healthier diets for better nutrition. I believe we will be able to solve and eradicate hunger and malnutrition in our lifetimes. It starts with us, every one of us. It starts with the organizations, it starts with the agencies, the governments, we can do it. It is not impossible. We just have to know that every day we live, apply our minds and our ethic to it.